was the night before Hanukkah and all through the house, everyone was looking for latkes, including the mouse. Who would believe it's time for another Pam's Presidential Press? I'm Pam Caton Miller and I have the honor and the privilege to serve as the temple's president. I'm hoping that you're able to participate in at least some of the wonderful things that we did here in last month. The Klezmer concert, oh, reviving the lost Jewish music of the Ukraine. It was such a wonderful evening. And as expected, we had another great uh, afternoon where 12 of us went down to New York to see a Yiddish fiddler on the roof. Ah, oh, it was wonderful. And then we also had a brainstorming session about our centennial celebration. And there were, I think, 48 people who participated in that. And even if you weren't able to join us on that meeting, if you want to sign up, figure out what your skill set is. Are you great creating galas? Are you great in the kitchen? Are you really interested in creating a 100th anniversary book? Are you interested in the museum and displaying our beautiful pieces? Are you an artist and would like to help with a, an art installation about 100 years of Rhode Island history or Jewish history? Think about it, let us know. We're really happy to have you. Everything is on the table. I'm hoping that some of you got to go to the Hanukkah Spectacular, spoken like a real Rhode Islander, um, or Rhode Islander. Um, it was a wonderful evening that Temple Emanuel co-sponsored along with the City of Providence and the Alliance and the Board of Rabbis and all sorts of stuff. It was a lovely evening and thanks to all who participated. I hope you all had a great time there. You should all be receiving your Happenings magazine. You know that that tells you everything you need to know about the temple. Um, but I want to specifically shout out to all those volunteers who came out and helped fold and stuff and mail all of those things. We had six volunteers who were just invaluable. That's all I can say, invaluable. And that's just one way that our volunteers have been helping. If you have a skill and you want to use it and put it to work for the temple, let us know, we'll, we'll connect you. I wanna highlight things in January. On January 7th, it's new baby Shabbat. Bring your family and let us help welcome you and welcome that new child into our congregation. Give us the opportunity to fell over the cuteness that you have. On January 8th, the next day, the Boomers and Beyond group are sponsoring Congressman David Cicilline for a brunch. So please sign up for that. January 13th is Shabbat Chai, January 15th, the Brotherhood is going to the P. Bruins. On the 17th, we begin our second semester of adult learning. On the 22nd, we have a very special um, book discussion or winter book discussion with our library committee. Thanks to all who participate in that. With author and professor John Sears, whose book on Eleanor Roosevelt and her influence in the state of Israel and her, her relationship to the Jewish world is really not to be missed. Those are only some of the highlights. You get it. We are a vibrant, exciting place to be. So come and support our programs. Come and have fun. Speaking of fun, Purim is around the corner and the Purim spiel rehearsals are starting in January. When I say no talent is needed, trust me, I mean no talent is needed. Look, I started in for years and years and years. But if you have talent, oy, then we've got first dibs on you, okay? Seriously, having fun in the winter really helps. So come, have fun enjoy. And last but not least, we have tried a lot of ways to revive our afternoon minions. And right now it's not really all that successful. We haven't been getting an afternoon minion no matter what day we try. So we're going to continue with our daily minions in, in person on Sunday mornings, on Tuesday mornings, Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Um, other times are available twice a day on Zoom. And we're going to regroup after the winter and see what we can do about getting more interest and more more participation in the afternoon. So come. And I also want to give a shout out to our clergy and to the volunteers who make having minions a possibility. I want to wish you all a happy and healthy secular new year. Be well, Zygazunt. Like